What up guys, Real Touch GML here back with another Java tutorial. Today we are going to be learning on how to import enemies into our game. So what I've done is I went over to paint.net here and I've created a simple player image and an enemy image. And I went ahead and imported that into our source file. So if I go ahead and play the game here, as you can see, uh, our player is that guy that we made, which we learned in our last tutorials. So what we're going to do to create this enemy is create a new class and we'll call it enemy. And right now I'm just going to put in all the basic stuff that we learned for the player, like the update method and just getting the image in there. So I will be right back with that. All right, I am back and what I did is just went ahead and just put in the enemy uh picture in there and set up the update class and the paint now I just need to go ahead and make this an object, so I'll just say enemy E in the main class here. And I'll say E equals new enemy, this. And I'll do E dot update, this. And I'll go ahead and do E dot paint, G and this. So if I go ahead and play the game here, uh, as you can see our enemy is there he's not really an enemy though because he just kinda sits there so we're gonna have to change that so we're all gonna do this in our update method so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new uh, integer or variable and I'm gonna say speed and it's gonna equal to 5 and up here we're gonna in the update class we're gonna do x plus equals 5 or uh, speed my bad and we do this in the update method because when we called it here E dot update this is gonna update or it's gonna run through this line of code every 20 milliseconds so now so now if we play it uh, you can see our enemy does move to the right and he kind of keeps moving to the right so this is how we're gonna make him um, stay in the boundaries and um, uh, go back and forth so I'm gonna say if X is less than or equal to zero speed equals 5 else if x is greater than or equal to mc dot, dot get with speed equals negative 5 so if we go ahead and play that now as you can see he does go back and forth in the boundaries here now uh, you can kind of see though that when he gets over to the right here, half of his body like kind of goes through the screen, and we can fix this by just saying we can do mc dot get with minus twenty five. And if we go and whoa, if we go and play this now, as you can see, it's a lot better. So that's just a trial and, trial and error function there. Um, and we do mc dot get with because we're referring to the main class here, and that's where we set up our size. Uh, of our window here and it gets the width and then um, minus 25 for that little little bug where half of his body goes in so now say we wanted more than one enemy in the room we don't want to create a whole nother uh, enemy to class just to create another enemy so what we're gonna do is in the main class here say e2 um, e2 equals new enemy uh, and this is where we're going to put in our coordinates for where we want it to start. So I'm going to say 275. And then I'm just going to go to the update class here. So e2.update this. And e2.paint g and this. Now if we go up here, you see we do get an error here. And that's because we need to create a constructor for what this 275 value is. So go ahead and just hover over it and say create constructor. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say i or e uh, x equals i and y equals j. Now, if we go ahead and play this now, you see we got no errors here. And if we go ahead and play this, you'll see that there's still no enemy, and that's because in this constructor up here we um, we used. Um, this to create the value so we just have to copy that and paste it in here and you see we get an error here about the MC and that's because we need to also import again main 
class MC. And now that's all fine and dandy. <laughs> and um, in E2, all we need to do is type in this. So now everything should be spot on and ready. And as you can see, we have two enemies here. And you can do this for three, four, five, however many you'd like. So I'm just going to bring this down more to say 300. Oh my god. I hate when it does that. Yep, okay, so now you can see that the enemy has moved. So, hope you like this tutorial. Go and leave a like, go and subscribe. And next tutorial, we're going to be learning about collisions and getting into more advanced things. So, I'll see you next time. Real Touch GML signing out.